In this Excel video, we're going to look at some of the general keyboard shortcuts that every user of Excel needs to know. Let's get started. The first shortcut is Control O. If you tap Control O, that will take you to a screen where you can open a new workbook. So it's a shortcut to get you to what's called the backstage view. This is the backstage view. You've got a list of recently opened Excel workbooks. We have some locations that we've accessed or that we could access in order to open a workbook. I'll click back and let's look at another keyboard shortcut that every Excel user should know. And that is Control N. So hold Control, tap N. That gives you a brand new workbook, completely separate from any other workbook that you've been working in. Next is a very basic keyboard shortcut, but you'll use it all the time. If you don't already know about it, this will save you a lot of time, and that is Control S. As you're working in Excel, anytime you put in some key information that you want to make sure you don't lose, just hold Control, tap S, and your data will be saved quickly. Next, we have Control P. Holding Control and tapping P takes you again to the backstage view, but specifically to the print settings. Here you can adjust some of those settings and get a preview of what it will look like, and then just click print, and it should print. Going back, let's say I've recently quick saved, Control S, and now I'm ready to be done with this workbook for the day. I could use Control W to quickly close this workbook. So I'll hold Control, tap W, and the workbook is closed. Let's hold Control and tap O to open up our workbook again. The next general keyboard shortcut that you need to know is very simple, but it's very useful. It's just tapping F7 on the keyboard. This will bring up the spell check options, and you'll be able to use spell check to find any mistakes in your spreadsheet. Next we have F1. If you tap the F1 key, the help panel opens up at the right and you can search for any help you might need. A similar tool that a lot of people don't know about is Alt-Q. When you hold Alt and tap Q, it activates this Tell Me field in the upper right corner. That's what this is called, the Tell Me field. And here you'll find a list of your recently used actions. So that can be helpful if you're trying to remember how you accessed a feature in Excel or a tool. There are also some suggested actions that can help get you on the right track. Or the other option is simply to click and type what you're looking for. And then you can look through the options that are brought up. So in my opinion, those are the general keyboard shortcuts that every Excel user needs to know just at a basic level in order to use Excel effectively. There's many more keyboard shortcuts that you can learn about, and I would encourage you to watch my other keyboard shortcut videos. They include everything from copy, cut, paste, to how to jump around your data in Excel from the upper left corner to the upper right, lower right, lower left, just how to navigate your spreadsheet, and much more. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. We have a couple of recent $5 supporters, and I really appreciate that extra help so I can keep making these videos. Thank you so much.